Hi, this is I Am Unique in Him, and this is Janice. I just wanted you to, to see that this is after I did step number two, which is um, you put the um, your leave-in conditioner or your conditioner, and your conditioner will serve as your your um, co-wash, your deep conditioner and your leave-in so whatever you decide which one you decide to use for the maximum hydration um, regimen but um, I just want to stop the conditioner um, initially well it says that you should leave it in overnight that's the primary one um, but then there are a couple, there are like three other options that you can do. And I actually did a combination of the second and the third option um, because I warmed up my water and um, put, I think you were supposed to warm the conditioner, but I warmed up the water and I put um, about one and a half ounces of uh, the knots today in um, my bottle and I put um, you put four to six ounces of water. Now, for shorter hair, um, you have to gauge it because I think the, the amounts are based on people that have like medium length to longer hair. I think one young lady said she had chin length hair. And even though my hair is um, very, well, it's a little bit, as you can see, down past my chin, um, still my hair is very fine and it's short and I mostly wear it in my shrunken state but um, what I'm doing for any um, of the steps that I have leftover product I'm gonna save it for day number two that's what I'm gonna do because the product is too expensive and I don't like to waste and um, I'm just not in a position to you know just be buying product but the good thing about the conditioner um, you're gonna use it um, twice so uh, for instance I have a bottle uh, uh, I used a she naturals um, bottle that I had that was about an eight ounce but I put six ounces of water in it so I only use about maybe three and a half or whatever so what I'm going to do is when I get ready to do my step number four and five, or five, four and five, because you're going to do another co-wash after I do my next step, which is the clay, I'm going to use that remaining amount. I might put a little bit more conditioner in it and then put some more warm water, but that's what I'm going to use. But I wanted you to take a look at my hair. Um... Like I said, I've never had problems with my curls, but as she was saying, um, your curl pattern, your your hair should curl from your from your root. And as you can see, mine's curls from my root. Um, I also noticed that my hair, uh, and this is step number, this is after step number two, um, is holding water more. Um, I think if it holds water more, that means that it still hasn't gotten to the hydration level that it needs to be because it's soaking up the water, but my hair does look a lot different than it normally looks even after I co-wash. So I'm just going to let you look again at my roots, and as you can see, my hair is curled from my root. I'm sorry if I'm not holding this right so you can see it well, but as you can see, my hair curls from the root. So, and it's just really curly. So, so far I think I'm gonna like this. Um, let me see if you can see it in the back. And one thing she did say after you do each step your hair should be able to, you should be able to shake your hair. And as you can see, my hair is shaking. <laughs> and it's really, really curly. 
So now I'm getting ready to do step three. And my step three, I'm using a Gaines um, dish detergent bottle that I had. Now, this is 24 ounces, but I actually mixed it in another bottle, which was an apple juice bottle, because it said to do four, uh, cu four to uh, three cups. So this was three cups. I actually put a little bit more um, warm water, which I'm glad because it's thickening up. It's really thickening up. And um, I know I won't use all of this. This is my um, bentonite clay. Um, I have bentonite clay. I put one cup, um, one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of raw honey. And it said three cups of warm water but I put four cups so um, I will have some left over because I have a little bit more left in the other bottle and then I'm gonna what I use out of here I'm gonna just refill the the one that's left in there so that I will have um, some more to work with for day number two but um, I will try to get back to you after I put the clay in um, I might not get back to you but I'll try but um so far I think like I said I think I'm gonna really really like this um regimen I just have to figure out about the expense part but so far so good talk to you soon peace and blessings